Hello Virgo, I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. So, January 1st through the 15th, 2019, count across spread first, and then love. So, spirits, I welcome you to this reading, and we will get Virgo squared away. You guys have had some high views. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. I love you guys so much, my Virgo darlings. Um... I'm going to be using the um, Gilded Tarot for you all's general reading and then um, regular Raider White uh, for, um, wow, for um, your love. So, <clears throat> Virgo Dollars, let's see what's going on in your general spread. Let me say these cards, honey. All right, Virgo, I'm going to cut these cards. This is what the fortune wants to come out. I'm just going to let it come out. Okay, Virgo, you're feeling like the will of fortune, baby. Things are changing, happening, moving around for you. Uh, you're allowing life to take its full circle. Um, there could be faded situations that's happening for you as well. Things that are um, coming to its complete ending. With the pentacles here, you're definitely about your coin. They're definitely holding on to what it is you need to. Um, okay. So what's crossing you is definitely being called to do something. You see the trumpet here? It's telling you you're being called to do something. It's a loud call telling you, come on. So, let's see what it's about. Definitely a passion of yours with the Queen of uh, uh, the Queen of Wands here. Uh, some type of passion that you have. Beautiful. Could be dealing with beauty as well because the Queen of Wands is also, uh, you know, the romantic, beautiful card. Uh, the one who's like sexy. Lady in red, baby. Okay, where I go? So, um, also someone who um, is ready to strike it. <laughs> I always see that when I look at her like she's got her shit by her side ready to poke your ass. So, let's see. For your past, you have the four of pentacles. So you're definitely holding on to your money or there could be some reason why you're holding on to things. You felt like you need to hold, you feel like you need to hold them tight. Um, it could be some situations where you're losing money and you're feeling like you need to hold on to it. Uh, definitely dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Uh, you're feeling like with the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles in reverse um, for your present that things aren't really taking off for you or you're not really seeing um, the treasure box. You're not really seeing your money take off the ground. So let's see what happens in your present. I mean, in your, um, in your future. You're going to be analyzing some things. You're also going to be studying some things as well. Um, it looks to me like you'll be having to study how you need to keep your money, how you could gain more money as well. But it's also saying that you're going to be balancing a few things too. So uh, definitely take a look at your checks and balances as well and also how you spend your money. A lot of pentacle cards here. You're going to be focusing on that, and focusing on a passion as well. But I see you balancing some things. So for yourself, you're feeling like the nine of swords. You feel like you need to get up and get out and go do some shit. You feel like intellectually, you need your mind needs to clear itself from some old past shit, and you need to go do it. You know, it's just getting up out of bed, allowing yourself to change over the course of time, and renewing yourself out of this. Especially with the Six of Pentacles, you're going to be gaining some type of balance. For your environment, you have, you're feeling like you're not really able to manifest certain situations or manifest money uh, to have a better game or a better uh, interest of what it is you need to do. For your outcome, you're going to have a hard time cutting some things out with the Page of Swords or some messages will be cutting to you that you're going to have to cut some things out um, intellectually that's hindering you from saving money or being able to keep money. I definitely see that with the four of pentacles here. You're going to be holding on to that shit. So that's real. 
Um, let's see another outcome. Uh, definitely some someone who's not really willing to offer something new with the uh, Five of Pentacles here in reverse. Uh, there could be some type of commitment that's stopping you or some type of um, newness that is stopping you from making a commitment to a situation. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, let's overview. Looks to me like there will be some things changing with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you could be definitely holding on to your money, being wanting to just keep the same flow of what it is you're doing, holding on to uh, the pentacle is definitely what I see. Um, you're going to be made to make a judgment call. It could be that your money situation isn't really taking off how you want it to be, so you're expecting some new outcome, and you're going to be called to do something different. Um, now with the Queen of Wands is telling me that you guys are, are going to have some type of passion or you have some type of passion that you're going to have to get off of your chest could be dealing with beauty like I said or it could be something that uh, it's requiring you to change your passion now with um, the uh, with the uh, six of pentacles here this person is analyzing their money and holding on to what it is that they have in the background and in front of them as well but they're trying to gain balance so i definitely see you guys gaining balance holding on to what it is that's yours but also what's in front of you as well so definitely be on the lookout for that and with the ten of pentacles in reverse you're not really feeling like money is taking off so you're kind of just hoarding it um with the four of pentacles here and then also you have the uh, five of pentacles there could be someone who's not really willing to offer some type of message it could be dealing with uh, financial uh, it could be dealing with work situations as well you could be waiting on a promotion and the promotion didn't come through but with the page of swords here you cut some things out uh, as far as intellectually and you're not really feeling like you're manifesting things off the ground so try to hold on to your money find a new passion Virgo um, like I said, you could be dealing with beauty or you could be dealing with um, something that makes you beautiful that is allowing you to find a new passion. But um, I definitely respect that. So, on to love. Shuffle these cards. So, um, let's see here. Virgo, January 1st through the 15th, love. 2019 let's see here we go okay so you could be really dealing with some family situations with someone you see as a family but you're not really getting your way in this situation or you could be feeling like um you know whoever it is you're dealing with is a brat <laughs> um or you're not really seeing um the emotional stability coming from these cups you're just seeing them being poured out and you could be dealing with family situations or some past family as well um, that's really like steadily on your mind, Virgo. Um, yeah, because I definitely see with the house and the dog and the fruits and all that shit, it's not really taking, it's taking off, but you're not really getting your way in this situation. It could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, but someone is going to offer you some, uh, some emotions with the Ace of Cups. Someone, someone could be pregnant. Um, someone could be getting some type of, um, engagement or um, someone is willing to just offer you something new especially with these cups here they're ready to renew your cups and pull your cup y'all see that water coming out the cup and every time I think it is I think of somebody trying to you know make the cup wet Virgo so Cancer Pisces Scorpio definitely be on the lookout for that with the Ace of Cups and Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, you're not really feeling like you need to tiptoe in this situation Virgo but you're also feeling like um, you kind of need to stick around the situation just to see if it's really, you know, required for you to pick your shit up and go. Um, but I definitely see you staying around in this situation. Now, with the lovers here, you could be dealing with the Gemini, um, but also with the uh, Seven of Swords. It's saying that um, you're not really ready to drop what you had in your hand. You're really you're ready to drop what you had in your hand. But you're not really ready to receive full on love, Virgo. Um, and it definitely tells me that it, it's telling me that you guys are allowing yourself to let these old disagreements and past disagreements go. It could be with a um, family situation. Like I said, I definitely picked that up that you have let some emotions come in for you. But there's a family situation that's blocking you from um, this love or manifesting 
a family situation. Yeah, especially with the Four of Wands in reverse here. That could be something that wasn't getting off the ground or wasn't taking off the ground for you, Virgo. Could have been of Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But you're really just feeling like, damn, you know, where's my family life? Where's my where's my home life at? You know, it's like upside down. You're not on this steady foundation with whoever it is. Could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I, and could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries with all this wand energy here. But there's definitely a player in the mix. And I do remember getting this card for you guys the last time in December. The end of December's reading with the uh, King of Wands. Someone who's uh, willing to offer passion and they fine and everything. But they're not. They're a player. Uh, you could be coming to a decision about a person. Or you could be coming to a decision about this love situation that you're dealing with. It seems to me like it could be family life. Uh, that could be one of the options that you have issues with and also with trying to get some love started but uh, having love in emotions that are ready to be receptive to someone who's actually respectful and um, caring to you definitely see that there so you will be making a decision it's going to be either home life or it's going to be you know dealing with someone who's going to give you emotions and love but they could seem like a player to you as well yeah, definitely Cancer Pisces Scorpio, someone who's um, not really willing to give emotions since it's in reverse. Um, he's, you know, kind of blocked off his emotions towards this situation or you you blocked off emotions towards this situation. Um, yeah, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, definitely in the reading. But it says to me that um, you could be dealing with some emotions or with some love that this person was feeling upside down about it but you're not you're having a hard time walking away from the situation could be a past situation or you're just having a hard time leaving it behind um leaving those old emotions behind could have been dealing with a cancer price with scorpio or virgo taurus capricorn or leo sagittarius aries so um, you could be having a hard time let, with travel or this person you're dealing with could be having a hard time traveling But um, it looks to me like whoever you're dealing with if they're not really good for you Then honey this ain't the dick drop off or this ain't the pussy drop off So if they're not really offering anything uh, beneficial to you financially or um, and not really offering things to be equal for you financially whether it be traveling staying home in a situation things like that then honey you can't just be staying around and that's what it looks like you want to do is just kind of stay around and mentally reflect on it it could be plague it could plague you to the point where you want to you know jump about that boat you couldn't you're it seems to me like you're not turning away from an old situation that you really need to leave behind Virgo could be with the cancer Pisces Scorpio but I definitely see that family is more important to you or you could be making this decision to figure out if family life is important to you or if love is because you feel like you're kind of bored and you're just waiting around, sitting around doing nothing when you could be, you know, getting up and making yourself beautiful, taking care of your money, especially with the Queen of Pentacles that just popped out. You could be dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but it's definitely telling me you're not really feeling nurturing towards the situation. Could be not nurturing towards a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, but I definitely see here that you're not really in, trying to entertain entertain this. Oh, okay. So it could be uh, someone from the past that's coming towards you. Gemini Libra Aquarius. You're no longer feeling bound or restricted to the situation. Definitely someone from the past, or it could be... Um, someone that you feel you know romance with an older person giving a younger person a rose so may, might be older you might be shooting for someone older or something like that but i definitely see someone here from the past you know the xoxos that's definitely the shield for the love that's coming to you so you don't feel bound to the situation you're taking that blindfold off and you're starting to see the true colors of the situation it could be someone from the past like i said virgo could be a uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, <clears throat> especially with the King of Pentacles that just popped out and the Knight of Pentacles that just popped out. Uh, someone who's definitely very selfish. So be on the lookout for that, Virgo. Someone who's offered themselves, um, who wants to come in and try to pretend like they offer you some shit and then take it back. So be on the lookout for that, especially with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Someone who's selfish, materialistic, and they'll take uh, money over love any day. Uh, or someone who would choose, you know, getting money over love any day. Also with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, someone could be moving in very slow through land travel to you. Um, but it seems to me like you guys are going to be choosing some type of family. But with um, the Six of Pentacles here, I definitely see that you guys will be gaining balance. Now, there's two different things, that, two ways that I could say this. You guys are either dealing with a Leo, I mean with a Libra 
because there are two cards where this person has scales in their hand um, within your readings. Um, or it could be that uh, you're feeling like they need to give you something in order for you to feel like you sh I mean, it's like equal give and take. Um, or you're feeling like you don't want to give, give, give too much or give out too much uh, with this situation. And someone's always ha always has their hand out. So definitely be on the lookout for that, Virgo, because I do not tolerate that. If someone has their hand out all the time and it's never equal or balanced, then we can't do this. But if it is, we're going to make this shit work. You know, definitely somebody, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, someone who's holding on to some old shit or who's very greedy or possessive uh, within the situation. Someone who's only wanting things for themselves or could be hoarding, um, you know, their money or hoarding um, how they give to you. So, oh, Virgo, definitely be on the lookout for that because there is a third party situation and there will be heartbreaks surrounded by the situation, especially dealing with someone who is very greedy and possessive. Um, also, someone who wants to just give, give, give or, you know, take, take, take. There's going to be some heartbreak around it because it's not equal balance equally balanced it's a codependent relationship is what i definitely see here or i definitely see that um someone is more dependent on the other um and then that makes you feel like you don't have very many options or choices to choose from so cancer pisces scorpio virgo taurus capricorn gemini libra aquarius everyone is pretty much here across the board but it is what's standing out to me and it's more prominent is um virgo taurus capricorn and cancer pisces scorpio um so definitely be on the lookout for that because not having very many choices and feeling like you have heartbreak because you don't have that many choices to choose from but honey you better get out there okay and make the choices yourself okay virgo I definitely feel that. I feel like y'all need to have some confidence in the situation and get the fuck up and don't be worried about uh, this third party situation. You need to, yeah, get some clarity on it. Could be dealing with the Leo as well. And also with the temperance at the bottom of the deck, I definitely feel like you guys are going to gain balance and clarity on the situation. But there's a third party situation here and there's some someone who is willing to give to you, but just make sure that you monitor <clears throat> if they're being possessive or if they are trying to control the situation or trying to hold on to things that no longer serve them, you know, or this could be you as well, Virgo. It could be that you're trying to hold on to things that no longer serve you, or you have this third party situation where you're give, give, giving, and you know that there's a third party here, but there's a possessiveness, possessiveness that you hold, but you will gain clarity and balance on the situation. So definitely be on the lookout for that. It could be the sun. Uh, you could be dealing with the Leo, like I said, with the sun card here, but you're really feeling like you're going to get some inspiration from this or you're going to get um, a new outlook or you could just be leveling it up, honey. Just level up, level up. Okay, Virgo? So um, definitely be on the lookout for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, somebody who is very selfish, surrounded by you, could be a third party situation. Also someone who is possessive and not really wanting to be balanced. Be on the lookout for that. You will have to choose between um, family life and getting your way. So I love you, Virgo. And level up, honey. Okay? Get your makeup done and all of that. Change who you fuck with and all of that. All right. Peace.